Hey guys, welcome to another segment of the Grind Never Stops podcast. We want to thank everyone who has tuned in to all of our episodes and mostly to our recent episode as we talk about how the Brooklyn Nets couldn't get it done against the Lakers who were without LeBron and Anthony Davis. But now we're going to jump to the NHL and we will talk to you about the game that happened between the Toronto Maple Leafs and the Ottawa Senators. And before we get down to business with the Leafs and Sens, the Leafs need to play better because the team that they have been having trouble with and barely winning is one of the worst teams in the NHL is the Ottawa Senators and in this game Leafs survived a huge huge scare in Toronto as Sens were without Matt Murray who's dealing with injury and if you look at their their players that they have it's just amazing to me that the Leafs cannot get cannot have a good game against these guys and they need to play better if we want to get to go to the promised land we need to beat the teams that we should beat we just gotta play better all around and i'm not blaming the goaltenders the defensemen or the coat no it's it's gonna be it's it has to be everybody on the ice that should do their job and not doing more because if you say that people should do more then it's not working out and I know the Leafs have won six straight games. I know the Leafs are 28 and 10 on the season. We know that, but regular season, they need to play better and get ready for the NHL playoffs. Because you know, last year, they got, blo- they got killed by Columbus, especially in the last game when they got shot out at home. So the Leafs got to play better. I'm not just talking about this game. I'm talking the games that they played against Ottawa. They haven't get the shit done, and that's what they need to do. They need to get, they need to get their shit done. But Matthews, oh, he's continued to kill it. He's continued to kill it. He's he got a hat trick, and Matthews. Before this season, Matthews always has Ottawa's numbers. So he had a hat trick and he's hit the first player this season to hit the 30 goal plateau. And his buddy Marner had a four point night and he has been doing it well this season. And also Galchenyuk, the new bud that we acquired lately, he also had his best game of the season with two assists plus three he went to the box once he had three shots on goal and he has been a key in this win because they survived a scare here they almost lost to the Sens but the but the thing that is relevant right now is Campbell who is this Campbell that the Leafs have got have gone and he's He's a, he's very great. He's 29 years old. He got drafted in 2010 first round by the Dallas Stars. He's 6'2 and he's a baller. Because to start the season, he's won 11 consecutive games. He the the only game that he led in more than 3 goals is the Sens. And he is led in five. But you look at all his games that he played. Two, two, zero, two, three, one, one, three, two, five. And he's won every game he has played. And first he set at least franchise record last time out. And this game he set an NHL record for most wins by goalie to start a season. And all oh, the controversy is coming boys it's coming because frederick anderson is injured and you know the franchise goalie is frederick anderson so there will be some great 
controversy between Shaq Campbell and Frederick Anderson. And it's going to be nice to see. But both guys know, as they asked him during the press conference, and they know that the goalie that plays well will be the starting goalie in the important games. So I think Campbell needs to keep going and keep the streak going. But I don't think the Leafs should rely on him to stop everything. Because he's not the Martin Broders, the Luangos. He's not that type of goalie. So the defense need to keep playing better. But you can't let in five goals to one of the worst teams in the NHL. And that's no hate on Ottawa. They're just bad. They're really, really bad. But guys, thanks for tuning in. Make sure to tune in for tomorrow as we will have more segment. And again, make sure you tune in to my boy's podcast. It's called Pouty Mouth sports it's on instagram twitter and youtube he just started but make sure to support him and support me as well and if you guys want to support me you can send donation to my gofundme and the link will be in the episode description peace